Tell me more about that. Seeing it for what it is, I know that you believe foul play was involved here. Tell me why. Well, uh, I mean, when I arrived on the situation, it, it just it seemed weird that they were trying to claim it as a hit and run, um, but there was no tire marks on the street. There was no car parts or along the road. Um, his teeth were sitting there next to his face, and he was wearing Hey Dude shoes on a if he had gotten hit by a car going 65, 70 miles an hour, it just doesn't make sense that the situation looked like it did. What do you think may have happened that night? Have you gathered any details on your own? Where is your headspace about this? I, well, they, they classified it as uh, no longer being seen as a murder case, um, which is, you know, if, if you look at it as, uh, being premeditated or being planned out, then okay. Um, but uh, the situation obviously is not a hit and run. So there had to have been either an accident or or maybe some, some sort of other uh, sinister situation played out and is now getting covered up. But regardless of that situation, um, you know, eight months later, we, we want to know what happened. And we know what it's not, but we still don't know what it is. Have they explained to you and your family why they don't think that this was a murder? No, they just released all we all we received was that uh, quote from them that it is no longer seen as a murder investigation. Um, but, and I, it, it all it does make sense just because I don't see somebody planning this situation out um, against someone as as loving as caring and good to get along with as Noah. You know, I, I really don't see anybody planning a situation like this happening. So the next line is maybe an accident occurred or, or maybe something else happened that night under the influence of alcohol and, and they got scared and now they're wanting to cover it up. But whatever the situation is, coming forth and releasing that information is better than dealing with the guilt that yeah. they're now dealing with. What kind of accident would leave your brother without his clothes, with all of his teeth knocked out in a fetal position with these kinds of injuries? That's that's kind of what we're, where we're at now, is trying to figure out what kind of accident would cause that. Um, we've had uh, other people, other medical examiners look at the autopsy and they've gotten torn on the situation. They can really understood, understand if it was a car accident where maybe he had, been, he had fallen out of a car or whether or not he had uh, gotten beaten. Um, you know, obviously when they say on their multiple blunt force trauma, some of that, some of those injuries, it just doesn't seem possible that he would have fallen out of a car, but it, but it also deals with just leaving everything up in the air because we don't we don't know you know there's not enough information on that medical document there's not enough information available to really figure out how this damage occurred to him and in what order did the events play out you know after all these months someone perhaps knows something about noah's death um when i spoke with your sister madison last night she told me she believes that someone knows something and is not coming forward specifically that something may have happened at the party noah attended uh, the day of his death do you share a similar belief uh, absolutely um you it just seems bizarre that so many kids are around at, at the scene and nobody knows anything um Somebody had to have known something. Somebody had to have told a friend that they know. And now more people are hiding the secret and are now having to deal with this. this. And that, that's what drives me insane is I, don't, I can't wrap my mind around having to deal with such guilt every, every night, whether it's my own guilt or you know that somebody else had a part in the situation. It just seems very bizarre. And as time as time continues to pass and these interviews continue to play, I know it has to be uh, eating them up inside. Yeah. What is your message to them tonight, very quickly, to people who may know something? If you if you know anything, whether it's your own story or whether it's a story of a friend, we we please please encourage you to reach out to us to the OHP to the South uh, Southwest uh, Contact Information Center anyone at all just reach out to them with that message and then also if you are uh, having some or if you have some experience with private investigations or anything like that any the family is considering going out and finding private investigators and someone else who has a different
different uh, experience level, someone with new eyes on the situation. So if you are available in that and you're interested in this story, please reach out to us and we'll, we'll, we'll do everything we can to uh, help you out in solving this mystery. Okay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.